Hi guys, this is Amy from A Taylor AI One coming to you tonight. Um, oh, what is today? Well, it's almost 1 a.m., so I guess this would be um, 1 a.m. on the 3rd of November of 2011. And look who we have here who will not leave his head wound alone from whoever hit him. Um, every time we all leave to go to work in college, he gets anxiety and evidently he keeps scratching. I gotta get him a head thing for it. Okay, dude, move away. No, I, d I said move away, not walk Ugh, over everything. Okay, lay down. Oh, he doesn't know what lay down means. Anyways, we're still looking for his owner, and there he goes again. Anyways, as he goes out the room finally, uh, maybe we can get this done. Um, anyways, I went to Walgreens, and this is what I did at Walgreens, and I was actually going to point out a few things about the Walgreens. First, I'm going to tell you how I did this, and then I'm going to give anyone who's interested some other ideas on how they can do it. Now, I only went into Walgreens with... Three dollars in R and R. Okay, in other words, upper or uh, register rewards. Okay, from Walgreens, and with um, three dollars of register rewards, I got one, two, three, four, five, eight packs of Scott Natural uh, paper towels. I got one, two, three, four, five, six Ricolas, and I got. Um, five actually yeah five of the peppermint sticks it may have been six i think stevie may have stolen one um out of pocket cash cash out of pocket was nine dollars and um 78 cents out of pocket okay that was out of pocket and i got two dollars left from the ricola to carry on to my next um shopping trip actually that's up here sorry guys i forgot to show you that so i still have one two dollar ricola so i spent out of pocket nine dollars and 78 cents and I had $30.95 in coupons that includes the other register rewards, okay? So out of pocket, the savings was $40.73. Then I only paid the $9.78 out of pocket. And then on top of that, I have a $2 reward, okay? Not too bad, I guess. Now, I went in with the $3.00. Um, I went in with the $3 reward, okay, and I bought one Scott towel and one Ricola and one filler item. Yeah, I must have had six because that would, yeah, that would be six because I had, you'll understand why in a minute. Um, and then, um, so I had a $3 register reward. I got the $5 for the Scott, $2 for the Ricola, that were Ricola, Ricola, and that's $7, minus the $3 register reward that I had is $4, minus a $1 um, Scott paper towel uh, manufacturer coupon, okay, was $3, minus a $1, um, uh, okay, this is for the Scott, that's for the Ricola, and then I added in my filler, so it was $2.39, now I want to point out right here that my total was $2.37, but I realized on the second transaction of buying the Scott towels to use the $2 registry reward that I got from the Ricola of the first transaction that I had forgot to use the $1 off the booklet. This is the um, November uh, 2011 uh, booklet and in here is a dollar off the Scott Natural uh, paper towels. Okay. So I realized I had forgotten that now, but I had already done the second transaction. So the second transaction, $5 for the Scott, uh, $2 for the Ricola, um, minus a $2, oh wait a minute, I'm sorry, it was a Scott uh, towel for $5, minus the $2 register uh, reward was $3, minus 
the um, Scott um, in-store coupon was two dollars minus the um, store manufacturer coupon of one dollar equaled a dollar and I had to add a filler so that was a dollar thirty nine now on the third transaction she went ahead and tried to fix the mistake because the manager was not available so she counted the Scott as four dollars manufacturer coupon came off for a dollar making it three dollars she's making up for what happened in the first transaction I know this is confusing um, and then I had the um, store coupon for a dollar off so then it was two dollars okay I hope that made some sort of sense anyways what ended up happening and I'm gonna tell you what I should have done and how you have to kind of think through some of this stuff sometimes I bought um, four more of the Ricolas I just paid the dollar outright for each one of them because they were two dollars dollar manufacturer coupon equaled one dollar that I paid out of pocket and got a two dollar register reward back I did that three more or four times so now I have four $2 um, R&Rs or registry rewards for the Ricola. And then I just went and bought all at one time Scott paper towels. So I had um, the first Scott paper towel, which for some reason, I don't know if she was still trying to make up for something, but she counted it as $4. I don't know where that came from. Minus the manufacturer coupon it equaled $3. Five dollars for the second one equaled eight dollars minus the manufacturer coupon equaled seven dollars minus um, the store coupon of a dollar. Oh, that's what she did. She only took off the store coupon once. And then I had one, two, and three of R and R's that I used. Three, one. Oh, hang on. I've got it right here. Let me see. One, two. Oh no! I only used three of the two-dollar uh, R&Rs, and my subtotal ended up being zero dollars. Right there, two zeros. So looks like two little eyes looking at you, huh? Anyways, the eyes are looking at you, so it was zero. So that's how I did this. Um, these had to be fillers at the Walgreens I went to. It's really strange that one of the Walgreens here in Nashville, I didn't have to have fillers last week. I went to a different one to do these transactions and I ended up having to use fillers. So it was when I did the paper towel, I had the $1 for the paper towels and then I had the $2 registry wards. So I had to use one filler, one candy cane for 39 cents for each one of the R&Rs or the register rewards that I had that I was using in combination with Scott Tells. God, I hope I'm not confusing everybody. Anyways, um, what I should have done, and this is what I'm going to say, if you want to do this deal and you have to have the coupons available, what you need to do is if you have... Well, if you don't have any registry wards, I'm going to assume that because I was trying to use my $3 registry ward. That's why I combined a Scott paper towel with the Ricola in the beginning. And this was kind of a drive-by, so I have to say that I did not have any of this planned out. I knew that I needed the paper towels, and I've had the flu. And uh, thank God we bought all that TheraFlu because I really needed it. Um, I need it now, and I've been using it. Um, the Ricola. So I wanted the Ricola for my for my flu and then I wanted the Scott Paper Towels because I, I need to replenish my stockpile. So um, what I would do if I was in if I had it to do over I would just go in and go ahead and buy the Ricolas individually two dollars one dollar manufacturer coupon get your two dollars back on each one that you're gonna buy then get your Scott paper towels which after your manufacturer coupon and your store coupon will equal three dollars and then you're, you're gonna have to have a filler which mine were 39 cents at this store but the other Wal Walgreens that I go to another one a third one has 10 cent so it just kind of depends on where you're at and uh, use your fillers one for each uh, re registry ward that you're going to use in combination with the Ricola registry ward. I'm sorry, you're going to use the, the the registry ward from the Ricola with the manufacturer coupon from the Scott. 
and then you're going to need a filler item. Okay, and then just do it all in one transaction and make it easy on yourself. Um, in case y'all watch my videos, you'll notice that I, I don't buy, like, I don't go and, well, you know, I know the Kroger video I did um, last week, you know, last week, where I had 100% savings is unusual for me. Um, I didn't intend on doing it. I don't go to the store. Um, to make a profit or anything or to buy things that I don't think that I can use or give away or donate. And, um, yeah, you know, I've been watching Couponing with Jane and, um, Saving with Veta and, uh, or Saving, is it Saving with Jane? Oh, I'm sorry. Anyways, I'm sure everybody knows, uh, Veta and, and, uh, Jane. And, you know, I'm going to try more to coupon the way they do, which is using the overage to pay for other items, which makes sense. But, you know, we get all into that couponing thing, and that becomes confusing. So, um, so I go in just to buy the few items that I want or need, okay? So, that's how I do my transactions very simply. I'm not trying to do... You know, 20 transactions. If I can only get, if I can get away with doing, you know, seven transactions. Which one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, I did eight. I did eight transactions this time. Um, so, anyways, um, the thing I, I do want to point out real quick on this, and I know I'm going on the, almost 12 minutes, and I was having a conversation with Priscilla. Um, she has her channel here. Um, I didn't write hers down either. It's Priscilla. I'll try to link it um, with my channel. If you go to A Taylor AI One, I'll link her below mine so you can see her channel. But um, you know, we we're having a discussion about um, couponing, and I use the Scott towel. Now it says one dollar off four or more rolls of Scott towels. Now it doesn't specify um, anything other than the size, and that needs to be Scott. So I used it on the naturals. Now, me and her were having a discussion on whether or not you could use a BOGO coupon with a coupon that stated a, a dollar off of two at CVS, which you can't do. You can do it only if it's a dollar off of one at CVS. CVS's coupon policy does not exclude using a BOGO coupon and a cents off of one coupon. But, you know, kind of got me to really thinking about, you know, the wordage that we deal with in couponing. And when they're this, I mean, they were not vague, but they weren't real specific. It says Scott Towels, and those are Scott's. It said six roll. Those are eight rolls. No, it's six rolls. Sorry, I thought those were eight. Those are six. Six rolls. Now, this coupon here said Naturals. Scott naturals so of course you know that's why I got the naturals was because that specified the naturals okay didn't say any Scott this one didn't say any Scott but it didn't exclude any Scott so how does that make any sense am I just really running around in a circle you know I think maybe I overthink some of this and I'm going on 14 minutes so I will say live love and eat any comments suggestions or what do you think I don't know that I'm right, and I don't know that I'm wrong, and I don't know that anyone else's opinion is right or wrong over how they word these coupons, and, you know, maybe they need to explain it to us because um, it's not explained anywhere, you know, really. Does, you know, the fact that it just says Scott Tells, six count matter I mean if it says Scott and six count and it's Scott and it's six count and this one says Scott and it says naturals well this is okay natural and this just says Scott but it doesn't say you can't use it on natural I don't know you know I guess I could sit and worry about this for a very long time which I probably don't need to be doing so I'm just gonna say as Jane did or was it Veta may have been Veta that said it you know I'm not the coupon manufacturer I'm not the one that set up that and there are no man there are no guidelines from 
the manufacturer other than following the wordage to some people, the picture to other people. Um, no, they don't even set that one up, do they? They don't give us any guidelines. They just give us a freaking coupon. So we can make of it kind of as we want and kind of make our own rules up, meaning that we don't make our own rules up, but, you know, kind of be logical and, you know, you can't use three coupons on one item if they're all three manufacturer coupons kind of thing. And I'm rambling, which is bad, so I apologize. I will talk to you all later. Bye.